Khan. Oh, uh, who's back in Habakkuk 2 and 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him? Like. And a taunting proverb against him? It says, shall not all these take up a parable against him? A taunting proverb against him? Right. Now, you got these other nations. Look at how the so looking at how the so-called white man controls the resources, and they get tired of that. Okay, so they gonna come against them. Same way with us, we're tired of being in this condition as a nation of people. So we, so we cry to the heavenly Father uh, to deliver us out of this condition, and these, and these other nations gonna go to war with this so-called white man and the elect of Israel and Yahweh Bashmiah army, when Yahweh Shah come back, gonna go, to, gonna go to war with everybody. Okay, that's the way it's gonna be. Go ahead. Huh. And it says, and we and are a resource, people are a resource, okay? And say, woe to him that increases that which is not his. Woe meaning destruction, because we don't belong to the so-called white man. Matter of fact, give me that Sirach uh, 17 to 17. of the whole earth. He set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. Israel is the Lord's portion. We belong to Yahweh Shemashat. God. Not Esau. Okay? So Yahweh Shot is coming back to take us from Esau. Okay? And pull us and put us in rulership. God. God. Esau used us as a resource. We don't belong to him. Nor, nor does the earth. It was a temporary thing. It's all temporary with Esau. Okay? Go back to uh, Habakkuk 2 and 6. It says, And say woe unto him that increases destruction, meaning woe, which is not his. How long? How Question. long? That's what we're saying. How long? But when you go back. The, uh, the first chapter, when you go back to the first chapter, he's crying out, okay? He's crying out. Habakkuk, Habakkuk is crying out, okay? About these conditions, about Israel, go ahead. How long? And to him that laid in himself with thick clay. The Hebrew word there for clay is uh, abakya, which means debt, credit, okay? So, so-called white man debt is at 19 trillion. That's America debt. I ain't talking about the world debt. It's higher than that. But America's debt is at 19 trillion in count. And what they trade in and what the system is based off of, it's a credit-based system. Okay? okay? So America's in debt. By having us in slavery and resources, they got to pay for that. Because they ain't pay for all the things that they have, uh, uh, that we have done as a nation of people by building up this, uh, building up America, building up these countries. They ain't paid us for that, so he's in debt. Okay? Same one with the, uh, 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 them other nations around the world. They have used that, that, that currency, right, that Federal Reserve note, and taking the resource from these other people and not giving them real money. So that's uh. a false balance. So they in debt, okay? So-called white man is in debt. He owes. And when he is slave, he gonna get beat up by these other nations. Hmm. <laughs> that's gonna happen to him. He gonna get beat up. Right. That's what's gonna happen to him. And he gonna catch straight Straight holy hell, man. So-called white man. He the only. He the, They the only nation. Edomites are the only nation on the planet 
that didn't get no mercy from the Heavenly Father. God. So if there's God. no mercy from the Heavenly Father, it's open season on you, man. It's open season, man. Nobody ain't gonna help you. Nobody ain't gonna save you when you in them hellacious conditions, man. So live it up, proud ass Eater Mike, while you can. But your days are short. Go ahead. Uh, finish that off. Uh, it says, uh, verse 7, Habakkuk 2 and 7, Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, right. and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booty unto them? Yeah, fall unto everybody else. Okay? So, go back to this document. What is that document again? This is the National Security Study Memorandum 200. And it's on Wikipedia. This is on wikipedia.org. And the source is accurate. You know, Wikipedia, sometimes you can uh, uh, put your own stuff on Wikipedia, but they have this document in the Library of Congress, so it's accurate. Go ahead. Cut. Starting off where I left off, it says, since the U.S. economy will require large and increasing amounts of minerals from abroad, and the countries can produce stabilizing opposition forces against the U.S. This is what Henry Kissinger said in 1974. This was Henry Kissinger. Go ahead. Go ahead. It says, it recommends for U.S. leadership to influence national leaders that improved worldwide support for population-related efforts should be sought through increased emphasis on mass media and other population education and motivation programs by the UN, USIA, and US, USAID. Named countries. It says 13 countries are named in the report as a particular problematic with respect to US security interests. India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Indonesia, Thailand, Philippines, Turkey. Oh, the Philippines, the Philippines, uh, Philippines, that's right. Got them cussing America out. <laughs> the UN out. For all the wickedness that they doing. And how the Negroes in America get shot in the street. God. Philippine president said, hell, you shooting them, they already low to the ground. What more are you trying to do? There's so many words. Go ahead. It says Philippines, Turkey, Nigeria. Oh, there you go, Turkey. Turkey is aligning with uh, Russia and Iran. All right, go ahead. Nigeria. Nigeria, who over there? Israelites. Nigeria, Nigeria, you got Israelites over there. Go ahead. Says Egypt, Ethiopia. Mexico. Mexico. Go ahead. Colombia. Colombia. Go ahead. And Brazil. And Brazil. So you got Mexico is, is uh, Issaquah. Uh, Cuba is Manassas. Right? And you got Brazil, who is Asher. Uh, and, and Brazil is uh, on its way to face the same fate as uh, Venezuela. Right? So this is about the natural resources. So what you're seeing happen in Venezuela, right? The elites are squeezing them for their natural resources. Come on. Go ahead. It says the countries are projected to create 47% of all world population growth. Hmm. So that, that lets you know that these Edomites do their studies, man. They do their studies and they plan out certain things to, to take resources from the people. And whenever a president in a country is set up, uh, uh, start helping the people, that's when they get rid of that president. Uh, because it's not about helping them, it's about taking the resources. Go ahead. It says the report advocates the promotion of education and contraception and other population control. Yeah. Get rid of them. They want a Georgia guy stone you people. All right. Go ahead. 
No country has reduced its population growth without resorting to abortion. All right, that's happened to us over here. We got Planned Parenthood. In every, in every uh, uh, so-called black neighborhood, near them. You see? That's the worst place to be. of whether the U.S. should consider preferential allocation of surplus food supplies to states deemed constructive in use of population control measures. Go ahead. General oversight. The paper takes a look at worldwide demographic population trends as projected in 1974. It is divided into two major sections. So they were doing all these studies in 1974. What was you, Jake said? Sleep. Sleep. Didn't know what was going on while they were studying scheming on the resources and the downgrade the population. Go ahead. And they still doing it to this day. They ain't changed. And they still <laughs> sleep, two thirds. Go ahead. So here it is, 2016, and two thirds still sleep. God. Jake can't wake up that the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. God. God. But there's a reason behind that. Reason why they can't wake up. You know what I want. Isaiah 6 chapter. Go straight to the point. Just he said that. <laughs> he was, they were doing this in 1974, Henry Kissinger. Right? We're doing we're speaking on this in 1974. They ain't changed. They doing the same thing. Since 1974, that's why you see Venezuela in their condition, right? In the rest of the world in the condition that they are. Lebanon, I was looking at the new Lebanon over there. Over there, the water so polluted and the beach so polluted that they don't even let their kids swim in the ocean no more because they get diseases. That's part of that, that's part of that killing off the, uh, killing off the, uh, uh, the, 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 the ocean, right? So the fishermen can't go in there and get uh, uh, fish because that's population control and also hitting them with diseases, biological warfare, right? Biological warfare, and that's part of Esau polluting the earth, man. God. You know? So they still doing it, man. They ain't, they ain't. Now looking at that video, man, they won't even let the kids swim in the ocean no more to, to this day because they end up catching diseases. And the ocean so polluted. And when you go on and look at the footage on the beach, it, it, it's trash everywhere. It's like a trash field. Come on. Isaiah 6 and 9. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear you indeed, hear you ye indeed, but understand not. Right. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes least they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their hearts and convert and be healed. Yeah, so that's talking about Israelites. So the Heavenly Father sent the angels down to blind Israel so they wouldn't listen to the prophets. Uh -huh. So they wouldn't hear nothing. Okay? Because he don't want them to come back and be healed. And how do you be healed and be cured? By the word. So he don't want them to hear the word. He gonna have them rejected and scoff at it and continue to be niggas. Go ahead. It says, oh, him go ahead. Okay, verse 10. Verse 10. Make the hook. Oh, uh, I read it already. Verse 11. Then say I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitants and the houses without men and the land be utterly desolate. So how long is Israel going to be blind till America be destroyed? Uh, 
Right. So as long as America going the way it is like it is, functioning, you see cars going up and down the street, you see them uh, pushing propaganda on CNN and Fox, as long as you see that going on, Israel will continue to be blind right. until it all be laid flat. And they push propaganda and lie to the American people because they got a law on it, they can do it. They 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 hit it to where so they could deceive the, the other nations about what's going on in America, but that deception is affecting the American citizen. They got a uh a H H H House House Resolution 410. And if you Google that, it'll take you to it about the propaganda of the media, how they can lie to the back to the citizen of the United States. Romans 11 and 8 says, according as it is written, the Most High Yahweh hath given them the spirit of slumber. Right. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear until this day. They can't hear the word of the Heavenly Father and be healed. They can't hear it. Two thirds of our people. They can't hear it. They're going to continue to be niggas. Right. And rebellion, no matter what you tell them. No matter how many times you tell them salvation is for you, you the children of Israel, they gonna continue to, continue to reject it because it's ordained for them to reject it. Because the Most High got them set up that lot for martial law, uh, to take that chip for them to die by the military troops. But Esau gonna come hard. The Most High gonna give him the green light. And the Most High gonna put the spirit on him on the left hand side to do damage to you Negro Latinos and Native Americans. Cause he don't want you to be converted. That's why he don't hear his word. That's why he gonna stay blind until the end. Until the whole city be wasted. And you got to be born again in the kingdom. All right. What I mean by that is the men that make it up out of here and the wives they have, they gonna end up popping them women and you gonna have to come back as a whole, a whole new baby and a whole new body and a whole new mind and spirit. That's what it's gonna be. All right. We continue to read that in, uh, in uh, Isaiah. Well, you finish, you finish that off in Rome? You were done? Okay, finish that um, off in Isaiah. Isaiah 6 and 12. And the Lord have removed men far away, and there be a great forsaking in the midst of the land. Right? But yet it is, it and it shall be a tent, and it shall return. Who is that? The tent. Even though the Heavenly Father took us from that land over there in Israel, and we went into captivity, and all Israel lost, lost uh, the knowledge and wisdom understanding of Yahweh Shemal Shai. You're gonna have the elect wake up to the knowledge and wisdom understanding of Yahweh Shemal Shai. And the elect not gonna be blinded. Go ahead. And it says, But yet in it shall be a tent, and it shall return, and shall be eaten as a teal tree, and as an oak whose substance is in them. So, in other words, the, the house of Israel, parabolic, he uses them as a tree. In other words, he's not going to destroy the whole tree. He's going to leave parts of the tree, which is the elect. And oh. they're going to make, you know, he's not going to destroy the whole tree and basically get rid of the stump. The stump is strong. Yeah. yeah. So, the elect, parabolically, is known as that, known as that stump. Okay, and he gonna he gonna deliver the elect because those are the ones that's gonna be healed. That's what that's talking about. And as an oak whose substance is in them, when they cast their leaves, so the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. There you go. There you go. So what would you finish what you had in Romans? All right, now go back to the uh, memorandum two hundred. This is a uh, general oversight. It says, the paper takes a look at worldwide demographic population trends as projected in 1974. It is divided into two major sections, an analytical section and policy recommendation. The analytical section discusses projected world demographic trends and their influence on world Food supply, minerals, and fuel. The resources. Huh. Hey, what you want? Uh, Genesis. Uh, live by the sword. Genesis, what's that, 27? 27. 
Yeah, yeah, by the sport. You saw some, you know, fat and some hurt. Go ahead. Sis! Uh, the analytical section discusses projected world demographic trends and their influence on world food supply, minerals, and fuel. It looks at the relation between economic development in, in the least developed nations and investigates the implication of world population pressure on U.S. national security. The policy recommendations is divided into two sections, the U.S. population strategy and action to create conditions for fertility decline. Yeah, and who they going after? The Negro, in order for the Edomites to keep their supremacy. Right. Okay? They need to eradicate you Negroes so the Edomites can keep their supremacy. That's why they got Planned Parenthood and, uh, and, and eugenics, which is good birth, going back to Margaret Sanger and the Rockefellers and all, Margaret Sanger and the Rockefellers and all them, they created that eugenics, okay? Saying good birth, what's a good birth? And that's to, that's to keep that Edomite supremacy alive, go ahead, and controlling all the resources and getting rid of the population. Go ahead, man, the Negro Latino, the Native Americans. Go ahead. It says a major concern reiterated in the paper concerns the effect of population on starvation and famine. Growing populations will have a serious impact on the need for food, especially in the poorest, fastest growing LDCs, less developed countries, least developed countries, while under normal weather conditions and assuming food production growth in line with recent trends, total world agricultural production could expand faster than population. There will nevertheless be serious problems in food distribution and financing, making shortages. Even at today's poor nutrition levels, probable in many of the larger, more populous uh, least developed country regions, even today, 10 to 20 million people die each year due directly or indirectly to malnutrition. And who controlling that? The so-called white man on the left-hand side. God. He anti-life. Right? He anti-life. That's why you eat GMO. That's why you eating it. Because truly, all in all, is to kill off the population because those GMOs have side effects. Uh, you see, that's why you. That's why they doing that to you. Go ahead. The so-called white man, the elite, the Rothschild. It says right along with him, Henry, Henry, Henry Kissinger is right up there with him. God, he's a gutter rat. Go ahead. Even more serious is the consequence of major crop failures, which are likely to occur time to time. The most serious consequence for the short and middle term is the possibility of massive famines in certain parts of the world. In certain parts of the world. Okay? So, so he's telling you in this memorandum 200 that those things have to occur in order basically control economics and to keep Edomite supremacy. He's telling you right there. He doubles it. Hey man, that's all you gotta do is look. It's in your face. He doubles it, let you know how they what what type of time they on. And then you get a two-third Jake, which is blind as a bat, because the Heavenly Father got him blind. And he'll say, well show us in the scripture that the white man's a devil. Hmm. Huh. Show me in the scriptures that it say the white man is the devil. Alexander's the devil. What is he? When you read in Michael, Alexander's the devil. The so-called white man. Didn't it say evils multiply when they came into power? Mm -hmm. And then when it tell you in Malachi, the second, uh, the first chapter, it's talking about Esau, the border of wickedness. So there it is, there's your answer. Two-third Jake. Damn, right. I always, Jake, I always come up with some bullshit to 
not here to work, but just like we just read in Isaiah the sixth chapter, it's destined for them to be like that. Go ahead. Can't get right, Bob. Can't get right. <laughs> Go ahead. Even more serious is the consequence of major crop failures which are likely to occur from time to time. I, I remember down in certain parts of Arkansas where well, they use they use cow shit for fertilization for, uh, for, for fertilizing. That's why when you go ride by certain parts of the land, it smell like cow shit because they use it for fertilization. They did that in the ancient time. Okay? They did in the ancient world. They still do it in the Middle East. They use it for fuel too. But in certain parts of down here in Arkansas, where you had a lot of land and they was growing uh, uh, rice, you don't see that no more. You don't see it no more, man. A lot of a lot of that land, you don't see the form of growing rice no more down here. They at least cut that off, man. They cut it off. You know, they go ahead going toward Memphis, toward uh, Memphis and Brinkley and places like that. They used to grow a lot of crops out there. There used to be rice fields out there. That ain't there no more. And that and that and that land is fertile. Uh, going towards Conway, Arkansas, leaving uh, North Little Rock and going towards Conway, it's a stretch. And over there, there's a lot of land over there. And they used to grow uh, rice, rice over there. It ain't growing over there no more. And that every time that land, every time it rains, it floods over there. So it's easy. For that, but if you had rice seeds for it to grow, but they ain't even putting nothing over there, and it floods over there all the time. That's so that's fertile land. That's how you grow rice. You need, uh, water. You need your rice supposed to, the water supposed to stand up in the rice paddock. Yeah. Yep. There you go. So that being so, it, so here, here you wondering why it ain't happening? You seeing uh, less crops grow? It's because these elites controlling the uh, controlling the. Uh, the, the, the resources, God. They control the resources to keep Edomite supremacy. Because what it is is these so called white people don't produce children like the Negro, Latino, and Native American uh, man does. Uh, they don't uh, do that. You know? They don't do that, man. They, 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 they as a people have, have defects in them. Uh, okay? And, and like we always say, according to the counsel of the Heavenly Father, which is His Word, they are set up to be anti-life and to see the mass of the people. So the Most High don't need a whole bunch of them to complete their plan. He just need to blind Israel. But we we have more Israelite than them. He just That's need right. to keep Israel blind and let he build Esau's military power up with Jacob in there, blind as a bat. And let Esau stay in the rulership until the Yahweh Shah come back and light his ass up. It's just to back on what you said, a lot of these white men have early erectile dysfunction. That's why they came out with that Viagra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. And then you got the you got the chemtrail and you got the food that you eat. God. You know? Uh, so that so that takes a toll on the on the so-called Negro Latino Native American man. Uh, you know? It's all poison, man. It's all the depopulation, de depopulate the mass of the people, which are Israelite, to keep Edomite supremacy. Go ahead. This is, uh, it says, the most serious consequence for the short and middle term is the possibility of massive famine in certain parts of the world, especially the poorest regions. All right, then on top of that, man, you got people on the well Let's say, uh, thing, uh, I just add this in there. But you got people on the web and say, well, the so called white man controls the, uh, he got the heart program and he controls the weather. Yes, he does. But who is working on his mind God. and controlling him and making him do that? God. Okay? Didn't, didn't, uh, uh, didn't the angels uh, uh, work on, uh, who was that, Darius and Daniel? Darius, 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 Darius. Check it out, if you, uh, check it out, check it out, if you don't mind. Watch the shot. But uh, the angels working on Darius, Darius mind, I want to say, to have him do 
what they wanted him to do. So, there's nothing new up under the sun and the Heavenly Father don't change. So he worked on Esau's mind to do and to fulfill prophecy. Because the Most High don't lie. Even though Esau is the wicked, but the Most High play both sides. So he'll work on Esau to use that technology and to cause floods and earthquakes and things of that nature. But who is the credit going back to? Y'all watching me, I was shot. All right. You see? Okay, I got one. Uh, Job 33 and 15. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep fall upon men and slumbery upon the beds, then he opened the ears of men and still at their instructions. Got it, so um, the, the brother was saying, um, who put who put that on Esau to use that heart to do what he do? It's the most high. God. The scriptures say while we sleep, he put in our minds instructions on what we're gonna do the next day. So man's goings are what? Of the Lord. How could a man you don't know, you don't even understand your own way? God. Because while you're sleeping, your, it's already put put on you. You're already programmed. What you gonna do? This is like a big, this is like a big uh, server, man. We people, man. We we, hey, we just them little uh, pawns being programmed uh. by by the number one programmer to do his will. You know. Yep. <laughs> <coughs> you know? Come. He said, uh, Darius or Cyrus? It's one of them. We got I know he used Cyrus to put the spirit on him to start their temple back. Uh, but they was controlled. They were working with his mind. James praying. Oh, uh, let's see. One of them, I can't remember. The term is the possibility of massive famine in certain parts of the world, especially the poorest regions. World needs for food rise by 2.5% or more per year, making a modest allowance for improved diets and nutrition. At a time when readily available fertilizer and well-watered land is already largely being utilized, Therefore, additions to food production must come mainly from higher yields. Countries with large population growth not afford constantly growing imports, but for them to raise food, but, but for them to raise food output steadily by two to four percent over the next generation or two is a formidable challenge. 